never back it down Baby, I'm a soldier standing my ground So if you're gonna find me for my heart Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up guys. What is up? Um, so I have something to tell you guys and if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw it. Let's just start with, if you guys have seen our past two recent videos, I have mentioned how excited I was because I'm starting this six week uh, fitness challenge here um, at the studio here in Oklahoma and guys the first class I am so clumsy oh my god it guys, makes me so mad to what? think about it guys guess what we were at class yeah the first <clears throat> class I'm in my car sitting right outside the building so excited to go in guys I fell getting out of my car I fell bad I sprained my ankle <laughs> Um, so my car has like these, um, fold down, um, steps. So when the, when the door opens, the, the step like folds down. Um, and I guess I just went to step out too fast and I missed the step and I had like that automatic like, um, instinct that the step and would guys, be there. So what? I missed guys, it and so my leg went what? down, but natural instinct, my other leg automatically went forward except I... I don't know what happened, but my leg just literally, like, my ankle just bent, and I, like, rolled on the floor. I scraped both of my knees, my elbows. <clears throat> I pretty much busted my ass. Um, and, yeah, so now I got a big old fat swollen ankle. Again, if you guys are, if you guys have been watching us, um, about, like, four or five months ago, I actually sprained my ankle the first day that we were here in Oklahoma, um, walking up steps. I am literally so freaking clumsy. And my poor daughters take after me guys. I feel terrible um, sucks because I was so excited About this, but you know what guys? I'm not gonna let it stop me um, I'm going to just do some laying down workouts where I don't have to use my feet because I am just I've been so Motivated I was so motivated for this and determined I still am don't get me wrong, but it's not easy obviously with a <sighs> sprained ankle and I can't walk. I literally can't walk. It hurts so bad. Um, it's not broken because it's not as bad as my other ankle was. And my other ankle was just a sprain as well. A really bad sprain. And it doesn't look terrible. The other one looked really bad. If you guys remember, I think I showed you. It was completely black. Like, I, it looked like my foot was broken. And I ended up having to get an x-ray. And it just ended up being a sprain. But, like I said, I am determined. I'm just going to do some little workouts um, on my little yoga mat. Laying down some crunches. Some leg raises some whatever and raise but if you guys can Bye. see you guys can see it it's pretty swollen um yeah i just got a fat cankle you can tell the difference between my feet um yeah, normally I'd probably be freaking out, but because I just sprained my other one a couple months ago and it looked 10 times worse than this, I'm not even kidding. <clears throat> That's why I'm not freaking out. And it's not really hurting, but if I put any weight in or anything on it, obviously it's hurting. Um, I don't think it's broken, but if it continues to bother me like severely, I will probably go get it checked out. But as of right now, I'm just going to do what I know what to do and stay off of it and keep icing it. And I think it'll be fine. So as you see, I got a little bit of a workout in. I made it work. I did a little something. Um, I feel a lot better after doing that because I was moping around yesterday. Really kind of just upset that this happened and mad at myself and just hating my life yesterday pretty much. But I'm feeling a lot better today. I have been having like severe, severe dandruff issue. I posted it on my Instagram and I had you guys give me some recommendations on home remedies I can do to help that. Besides head and shoulders, obviously, I have really bad reactions to head and shoulders, so I just canceled that out. I got this apple cider vinegar hair and scalp rinse. Um, a lot of you guys recommended a apple cider vinegar uh, rinse on my scalp. 
And then a lot of you guys also recommended tea tree oil and coconut oil. So I'm actually going to combine all three and make a nice little mixture. Um, my hair definitely needs it anyways. My hair is gross. So I'm gonna combine these three and then apply it to my scalp. My house is such a mess, guys. Like, it is really hard not being able to attend to the girls and just walk around and pick up and do things as I normally would. Like, they are just all over the place. <laughs> I am actually gonna make the girls some lunch first and feed Alara lunch before I do this, um, so that way I can get their lunch going and then I can sit down and do this and not have to worry about them bothering me every five minutes. <laughs> this is what the girls are going to be having for lunch. Please don't judge me. Um, they, you know, it's kind of junk food, but. Uncrustable, um, just a yogurt and some strawberries. This is a total of 40 grams. I could barely stand in here. I'm just trying to get in and get out, give them their lunch. But let's go ahead and correct them. There. Why are you crying? Good job, Alana. Good job. Let's see what your blood sugar is. 257. All right, so they definitely need a correction for that. And we're going to Mommy, eat a total of 40 grams. Aliyah, I told you to wait. 40 grams, so wait. Wipe it, wipe it. And then Aliyah already pricked her finger over there. It's a lot of blood. You pricked it too hard, silly, on the black part. Okay, clean. Good job. And Aaliyah's blood sugar. Wow, they're pretty close. She also needs some insulin for correction. And she's going to be having a total of 40 carbs as well. Miss mm -hmm. Lara is going to have some, I think it's apples, avocado, spinach, and something else. Not sure, but she's going to be having that for lunch. So for myself, I am just having some leftover white chicken chili and I'm just going to show you guys how I top it with some stuff. It is so good. So I just topped it with some sour cream, some cheese, some jalapenos. I love jalapenos and then some Fritos guys and this combination is amazing. So I went ahead and combined these three things and this is what it looks like. Just like a coconut milk coconut oil consistency kind of thing but i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my head and yeah So that's why I kind of like a boy right now. Y'all. So, um, I'm supposed to let it sit for about two to three hours and then just shampoo it out. I have a video to edit for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and catch up on some computer work, like emails and stuff like that. And then I will tune back in with y'all. So, that's good. I washed out all the stuff out of my hair. Anthony got home, so I was able to take a nice shower. I actually just finished soaking my foot also in some really hot water with Epsom salt because it has gotten a lot more swollen and a lot more purple since I showed you guys earlier today. So I'm gonna show you guys. Um, he brought me a wrap, just to wrap it up. And then one of my followers suggested that I put this on it. It's called Arnica Cream Relief for Pain, Stiffness, and Swelling. It's a homeopathic. Um, cream so we're gonna put some of this on it and wrap it and then he also brought me my crutches from last time I sprained my ankle I washed everything out of my hair that I put in earlier it feels so good it smells so yummy um, I guess I can update you guys and let you know how well it worked for the dandruff um, yeah cuz as of right now you know I just washed it out so I can't really tell but over the next few days I'll notice if I have less dandruff or if um, 
you know, it goes away. So this is currently what it looks like, guys. Not too well. It's pretty purple and swollen. Um, it doesn't hurt, though. It doesn't, like, terribly hurt. I'm just gonna wrap my feet for me, guys. Because it looks bad. Mommy just have an ankle. An ankle? <laughs> No. <laughs> you look like you're grossed out. You're like. <laughs> it's freaking huge, dude. Yeah, it is huge. It's getting purple, isn't it? Yeah. Dang, my toes are even looking swollen. They look like little. Little sausages. Guys, so that pretty much completes today's video. I need to sit my butt on this couch and have my foot raised for the rest of the day because it is really swollen and turning purple and I really don't want to have to go to um, an urgent care or the hospital to get an x-ray or to get it checked because I know it's I know it's okay because I can still bear weight on it but I'm trying not to like it doesn't hurt or anything but I know it's there if I do something if I like give certain pressure or stand a certain way it's obviously gonna hurt so I think it's definitely sprained um so I just need to sit down and relax for the rest of the day because I have since Anthony wasn't here all day I've been up and you know trying to get myself around because I have three daughters what am I supposed to do hi guys <laughs> Anthony's home now, so I can kind of just relax and let him take over the girls because, I, like I said, I need to just keep this foot up. I wanted to update you guys a little bit, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!